In my original test of ambush theory, I only sampled cheetahs. Let's see, yes. Yes, yes. In my second installment of testing ambush theory of big cats, I compare leopards with cheetahs. There's a stark difference between the two and the willingness in nature to do it. The difference between cheetahs and leopards ambush styles is certainly related to their mental and physical diversity. It's influenced by the habitat in which they live, pressures from nature over time, and predation success rates. It's too hot to groom. Cheetahs are physically and mentally designed to run. They have a high center of gravity, lower muscle mass, and can't grapple as well as a leopard can. Massive paws, look at those paws. In stark contrast are leopards, which are physically and mentally designed for close proximity encounters with predators or prey. Leopards have a larger head and jaws, massive paws with retractable sharp claws, a lower center of gravity, more muscle mass, and the willingness and ability to fight and grapple. All the above and more are why you see leopards classified as ambush predators and cheetahs typically not. Now watch a simple comparison of the two. to cage leopards. We'll find out. I know, I know what you're thinking. What a wuss. Why don't you go inside the leopard enclosure and turn your back? That's because knowledge is power. I know these leopards would pummel me if I did that. These leopards are young and I don't want to encourage them jumping on people. I only did this once for educational purposes. Watch how showing my face and turning away instinctively gets Cassius to approach closer. <laughs> it's the exact technique leopards use to ambush their prey in the wild. That's what happens. Hey, Cassio! Hey, buddy. These are uh, one year old male African spotted leopards. Oh, you're attacking me again. Hey, I just <laughs> kicked out of my back, man. They are absolute. Um, hey, there you go, sweetie. There you go. Absolute ambush predators, really are. So. What about turning your back to a cheetah while you're asleep? What will happen? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh. What do I do? Oh. I'll never know. Purr, wake you up. Lick your face and chew your nose. Uh. And keep you up most of the night. That was just for fun. Let me show you what happened when I turned my back to a cheetah I hadn't seen in over a year. What happened? What happened? I'm with you.
granted that's tame cheetahs. <laughs> but love you. All right, Gabriel. It's a little different. Yeah, a little different, buddy. Good morning, Gabriel. Yeah, good morning. It's good to see you too, man. Yeah, good to see you. Turning it back to a cheetah, it's really dependent, dependent on the individual. Um, it's very rare, really, that a cheetah wouldn't, first of all, a wild cheetah would never, would never do that. Unless it was a uh, stick or something with maybe uh, rabies or something. Um, but even tame cheetahs, young ones will, will do it because they play. Uh, older ones, you want to hear, buddy? Uh, older ones <clears throat> can. It really depends on the, the individual, but uh, I've only had. Kenji jumped on my back before, and it was only because he was playing, you know. Gabriel's never done that, right, buddy? He wouldn't, he wouldn't do that. This is what happens when you turn your back to Gabriel. If he, love, if he loves you. Otherwise, he'd just ignore you. That's, that's mainly what happens with these cheetahs. You turn your back to them, they don't care. They ignore you. Even the wild ones that are here, we have some wild ones on, on the, at uh, G Experience, and they're the same, they're the same, they're the same, the same way. They don't, if they don't like you, they stay away from you. If knowledge is power, then foreknowledge is empowering. If you work with animals long enough, you're going to recognize patterns of behavior. There's always the oddity in nature, but animal behavior is usually consistent. Now I'm not saying that cheetahs never ambush their prey. A cheetah depends on cunning, speed, and its weapons as a cat to kill. Cheetahs typically hunt on the open plains, where they can utilize their speed more safely and efficiently. There's not proper cover in an open plain to efficiently ambush your prey. So cheetahs depend on their speed and skill to catch them. They can't run at top speed very long, but when you're the fastest land animal on the planet, you decide when and how to chase your prey. A leopard hunts from cover, either in a tree or in brush. It doesn't rely so much on speed as it does cunning, concealment, strength, and surprise. If you like this video, please share it and give the thumbs up. And consider joining my channel. Join my coalition.